believer in technology progress. And if you come to my room in Sefik, you'll see there the best lobby plan ever invented. It was made in 1989 by Rockwell International. It's an A0 poster which was drawn up by Wired magazine to get men to live on Mars. And they actually went down the lobby plan step by step until the space shuttle Challenger exploded. And that's where things went wrong. But until that day, they achieved their mission. I will invite you to my office to come and look at that. Second thing I did was raise my children to believe in Star Trek. And I can make the greeting, and I'm pretty sure you can do it as well. Um, because Gene Roddenberry, when he made the series, did not know that knocking on your chest would become a mobile phone. Neither did he know that a replicator is actually now a 3D printer. He had no idea, and neither did Jules Verne before him in these kinds of inventions. So we believe technology can solve things, and we believe the EU climate policy would actually have to focus more on this role. Stepping to Paris, which the introductions also did, if you define the two degrees to 1.5, every industrial base in Europe will have to be revised. And if you take that in money terms, we dwarf the amount of money that we now call international climate financing, because drive around Europe and look at every industrial site and think it has to be carbon or climate neutral, nothing will look the same. That brings a puzzle beyond what we know today in climate financing it brings a much more economic question on the table. The key question we have in CEFIC is not who will invent it. The key question is who will invest in it. And very much, now plates are breaking down next to technology, but very much not only who will invest in it, but why would someone then invest that innovation in Europe? There is breakthrough technologies around in the chemical industry, it's called carbon capture and use. In the steel sector, it's Ulcos and Izarna. In my former sector, the paper industry. But the decision will come for the Chinese, American or Indian owner. When all of this is developed into a first commercial, do I invest that plant in Europe or somewhere else in the world? Please consider that question carefully because we might invest and invent all of these things but then not see them land in European soil. I saw the ITER debate on the Federley report was just a bit postponed instead of taking place. Um, but this is a question beyond the EU ETS. The ETS will deliver innovation funding. It will not deliver large-scale implementation of breakthrough technology. And that is where we think mission innovation can have a role in accelerating these discussions. Going to the end of my introduction, I would like to land this in policy terms. Because right now we know FC, the Juncker plan. We know projects of common European interest. We know the SET plan. We know Horizon 2020. But it's actually this European Commission who will draft the first outline of Horizon 2030, or FP9, however you want to call it. And if you connect the dots and you look at the timeline Sir David has put on the table, the next two years will be crucial to define the innovation policy for after 2020, which goes to 2030. That's where CEFIC comes in and we would like to connect the dots. We think we need to lead on this development and we're willing to do so. Connecting mission innovation to Horizon 2030 to the real question, how do we get this invested in Europe at the end of the day? This meeting is a start and I hope you'll be back in more quiet surroundings later on in the year, where we hope to bring Sir David back and hopefully bring MEP Kelly also back to a follow-up conference where CEFIC can show you new reports on breakthrough technologies, but we can accelerate this thinking towards Horizon 2030 
and the next generation of innovation policy. I would like to leave it at that because it's still noisy and you're waiting for the main course. I would ask you to take three things home. Yes, technology will do it and the mission innovation project will be one of the crucial initiatives. Second message, we need to think Horizon 2030. Horizon 2020 is almost over. And thirdly, CEFIC will be there in a proactive role to see that we can make it possible. Bon appétit for your next course.